Hi, hi, performer. I so love seeing you here. Today, my friend, let us talk about how you can start working more on your business instead of just in your business. This is Maria Linden, mentor and high performance coach, helping you to reach success and fulfillment. Okay. One challenge that many entrepreneurs face is that they are being caught working in their business, meaning they are implementing, they are doing the administration, they are doing the marketing and the sales and everything relating to their business. The problem here is that you do not have the time to actually step into the role as the business owner, to actually step into the role as the CEO and have that overview. Because only you are the one who can have that vision, who can hold that and work towards it. So you really need to honor this space where you actually step into the role of the business owner or at least the CEO. And one way for you to do this is to identify one task, one group of tasks it might be, but one sort of a task that takes up a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. And then also identify what do you need in order to actually be able to make more conscious decisions to actually be in the role of the owner or the CEO. Many times what you will find here is that you might be caught in either, for example, administration. This, my friend, is something that you can actually delegate or that you could at least use chat GPT and, or you could hire someone actually, even if it's just a couple of hours per month. So there is help to get because this time, using your time and energy and putting it instead where it's supposed to be is going to benefit both you and your business growth. This is something that we'd work with when it comes to both our clients and our members. And it's very important that you actually use your time and your energy the right way. So my advice for you today is to number one, identify one task of some sort that takes a lot of energy and time where you're being caught either in, as we talked about administration, or it might be just like sorting things when it comes to your like counting, or it might be, for example, caught in posting on social media, which someone else actually could be doing, or it might be that you are caught in delivery, especially if you're a consultant, of course, but you might be caught in this too much. And instead, you're going to ask yourself, mm -hmm, how can I actually free up more time and energy from this and actually put it up here where it's supposed to be, where I can be in the role of the business owner, where I can be the visionary, where I can be the business leader and make strategic decisions and make sure that we actually work towards the right things and take action on the right things. So that is my advice for you today. And I would like to suggest that you actually set aside time and schedule time for vision time or CEO time or business owner time, whatever you want to call it, my friend. But just make sure you actually have this time because this is crucial and important in order for you to take the next step in your life and in your business. That was everything that I wanted to share with you today. And if you like this tip and if you like this video, also make sure you go to www.lindenmaria.com and sign up for my newsletter because that way I will be able to send you my latest video. So with tips just like this one, plus also some special gifts and secrets and bonuses that I only share with you in email. With all my heart, may this serve you. And remember this, you have the power to create miracles in your life and in your business.